नमस्कार वेलकम टू कोडिंग वॉल इफ यू आर नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू माय चैनल प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड गिव थम्स टू माय वीडियोस एंड टुडे द टॉपिक इज हाउ टू पास डेटा फ्रॉम वन कंपोनेंट टू अनदर कंपोनेंट बाय यूजिंग अबाउट पैरेंट्स सो इफ यू आर मिस इफ यू हैव मिस माय प्रीवियस वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड चेक माय वीडियो देयर इज अ वीडियो वी हैव डन फॉर नेविगेटिंग फ्रॉम वन कंपोनेंट टू अनदर कंपोनेंट so this is the first component and this is the second component today i will show you how to pass data from first component to second component okay see so click on this this is the first component you can see change see the change in the url so if i click and pass data as hello and send it is going to second component here is the data so you hello Local. Click see. In this way, I am passing the data. Okay, I will show you how I made this. Mm. Coming to the first component, I have took an input field, input field, and I have uh, binded with the name name. And uh, this is the button. I have given. Uh, I have uh, given a click key and function alt. The functionality name is uh, nav to second component. So here we go. So here I have declared a variable called name, and uh, this is the nav to second component functionality. Here I took uh, route navigate, and here I have given uh, <coughs> excuse me, given the route uh, uh, route here, and uh, I have given a query. Query parents here and insert the data. I'm so I'm sending the data name, whichever the name I have typed in the input field here. I'm sending the data to the second component. So coming to the second component, here I have used a route route activator route and uh, this dot route dot query parents dot subscribe method. So inside this subscribe the parent which I'm uh, name which I have given. So Here I have taken a variable with the same name, as a name, and the uh, parents dot data. I will show you in the console also. Here, uh, what is what I am getting in the dot parent. See, I am getting as hello world. This is a TS file writing. Hello world as a. So I am assigning that a hello world data parents dot data to that name, and I am showing here with the. Uh, Angular expressions. If you don't have an idea, I will show you. I will uh, make a video on this on uh, how to give a expressions, Angular expressions. So in this way, I'm uh, displaying the displaying the data here. So let us get started. First component. We will go to the first component. i am giving a input here some space this is uh, for spacing purpose come to the button give class btn btn Second component and uh, send navigate. Okay. So inside the component, first I will give uh, the name. 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 Here okay. nav two.
sorry i forgot to mention this dot out dot magic gate second comp this is what i have given we copy this we need to give in constructor yes wait was imported here so i need to give a uh, uh, query param inside an object so that is now data into name Dot name. The name which I am binding here, I will uh, send it here. So we'll check once in the UA whether it is working correctly or not. Okay. See, it's going. Okay, I will do one thing now. Coming to the second component, I need to do. This dot out. Excuse me. Query params dot subscribe. Subscribe. Params of any. to give uh, to act a route when you are getting you need to give act a route if you are sending something you can, will give direct route private route act a route ok it was imported so here don't come so dot lock oh, uh, spelling is spelling is subscribe it's correct okay now we will uh, assign this to a variable this dot name this parents dot data why i have given data means uh, in the first component we are sending in an object with a key value key as data and value as name right so that is the reason we are uh, giving data and then it will give this any i am assigning this assigning the variable declaring a variable sorry we will check now so i am in the first component i am sending data as mm, hello world Oh, sorry, I forgot to uh, give the expression of this. I need to display this in the HTML part. H5. Give expression. This. So there is a one more thing I forgot to mention. We need to import forms module to use ng module. So here I am using ng model, ng model and binding a variable to this. So if you want to use this, you need to include 
forms module in the nearest module app module so here i have uh, imported forms module right here and uh, imported this one here so to use that one uh, or else it will show as uh, uh, input uh, input is not defined or uh, uh, input is not known to the uh, name is not known to the ng model okay so that is the reason why you need to import forms module inside a uh, app nearest app module hello world okay coming to the first component hello world see it is showing hello world and in the data see i am getting the object that's why uh, the key was uh, data and then getting the hello world as a uh, value so in this way we can uh, pass data from one component to another component if you want to send a uh, a number of uh, i mean large data like uh, you have uh, 10 to uh, like about five key values and uh, large number of data then we will go with uh, another uh, uh, method i will show in the next video how to pass data uh, large data from one component to another component so in this way we will uh, pass data from one component to another component by using route pattern thanks for watching stay if you are not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and give a thumbs thanks for watching